Okay, so we've got our balance going, right? So we've got being able to, you know, take pressure and stuff in through our blade and, and help it uh, kind of stabilize what we're doing, okay? So um, some of the biomechanics around there. Squats, what's happening with your feet, all of that kind of thing. We want to make sure, again, the reason we don't have our hands like this is because we need this. When we're in like this, we, we actually can't move as well because our bones are up against each other, right? <clears throat> so we're up here. Now the other thing we want to do is we want to use our hips. When he presses in, I will, and I'm exaggerating here, I sink into my hips, okay? That provides me more stability, okay? Now notice when I'm sunk into the hips and I'm here, now, if I just take a step forward, that's a lot of that's a lot of force, and he can try to push against it. But what that does is that brings him up higher, okay? Which is kind of what I'm looking I'm looking to do right there, okay? So that's one kind of one aspect. Now, of course, what's going on at the same time? Uh, he's not just going to stand there. Uh, hopefully, for, for his sake, he's not just going to stand there and let me do it. He will then use the things that we've been using to try to move there. Now we're using the, the we're kind of moving around here. We're going to start slower than, than moving in three dimensions. We're just going to move in two dimensions. But the idea is, is that as I'm moving the blade around, he's moving his around, and we're also moving our bodies, right? Now this can be advancing and retreating. If he advances, I can retreat, right? But it can also, you can also play with that. So when he advances, right, with the bind, I can use that advance to increase the stuff there. And if I can catch him as he's doing his advance before, go ahead, before he can, you know, abort that, that maneuver, I can kind of get into to a better position. What he's going to want to do, and what the whole game here, when we're here, is we're trying to keep this between us, right? So wherever we go, it, right? See, if I'm here, this is where it gets yeah, good. See, see how? See when it moves over to here. See how he starts to move around toward it, right? Because if he's on the outside of it, I can slip off, disengage, and get the hit, right? Same thing with me. If I'm here like this. I will continue around over here, right? Okay. So when he moves, just move forward. Okay. So as he keeps moving forward, I can keep the pressure up. Keep going. Keep going. Just, just come on in. Okay. You see? Now that may lift it up, right? If he comes in, push it, push it in again, right? I can also bring it down here. You see? The, the, the bind's still over here. He still has me bound, right? Okay. At this point here, now I have to start using more of my body. But notice, he does not disengage. Because if he disengages, that's what's going to give me that strike. Okay. So with lightsabers, the bind is a very scary place to be. Granted. When you're in here and the person is... is coming around and, and it's moving that blade really close to your head, right, all of that. Let's put a comment on here. <laughs> Just for safety. Okay. We're like this. You see how close, close our, our blades are coming to our head, right? So we want to be we want to be really really careful with that when we're in with uh, lightsaber. Okay, with regular swords, the, I have a, a little bit of a disadvantage in that I have to point my edge toward him. With lightsabers, I don't really have that that disadvantage. You know what I mean? 
So when I come over the top, it doesn't matter what side of my blade contacts his head, right? Because here, and there, let's grab a, when you got a regular sword, okay, we're in here, we not only have to get over there, but I can't, if I do that, here, if I just, here, just let me do it, right? If I come over and I just do this, that's with the flat of the blade. Ouch. Yeah, that's just going to piss him off, <laughs> right? So the, 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 the further thing that I have to do here is we have to set our edges now, you see, to get a lot of this. Now, again, you have to set that edge. If I hit him like that, big deal, right? So, yes, the bind is definitely kind of a scary place to be, <clears throat> okay? But the point is, is that we don't necessarily want to try to overpower. We want to accept, move with, and blend with. So when I'm here, okay, we're not going to compete. We're just going to move with each other, right, and try to make sure that everything that we're doing is there. And we can then practice things, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And that's, that, that's a big deal, what, what just happened there. People don't realize this. When you take this circle, if I'm, if I'm taking this, uh, yeah, if I'm taking this circle like this, and I take it too far this way and it hits down here, I'm just going to hit myself with it. Yep. Right? So you see that a lot when people get into this, because that's when you, when you tie up, that's your first go to start to move around like that and that's fine you can do that but what you want to do you see how we're we're switching it okay, we're not just kind of going around and we use those yeah there good Ooh. you see now it takes on a kind of different kind of aspect you see how careful we're being with with the positioning of our blades right good nice good It's just flowing with, I feel it, I accept it into my body. I can either resist it, in that case I can't, so I'm going to let it fall down. I'm going to wait for him to get into a vulnerable position. And then I'm going to switch it up on him. And if I can get behind him, that's great. Okay? Oops, sorry. Okay? So, 